Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for yet more daily gaming news here on the 22nd of February. This time I'm bringing you an update regarding Star Citizen as it continues to accrue insane amounts of funding and has now officially reached the $39 million mark. And the new $40 million stretch goal would add a procedural generation R&D team for quote, creating entire planets worth of exploration and development content. Now, the Roberts Space Industries website does note the latest goal unlocked the penultimate user-chosen star system, and then Chris Roberts went into quite a bit of detail regarding the next stretch goal. His statement reads, quote, Our previous stretch goals have been about expanding Star Citizen immediately, adding new ships, new systems and more. Each one has added something to the game while allowing us to widen our bandwidth, hire more employees, expand our development facilities, purchase new technology and so on. Now it's time to look a, look a little further excuse me, into the future. Among the most common feature requests for Star Citizen are atmospheric combat and ground exploration. These are the single biggest things we would like to include in the game, but they're also something we know we can't have day one. Our universe is a big place, and creating the hundreds of existing land landouts properly is enough of a challenge. Building entire continents and atmospheres in the current system would take a lifetime. That's where procedural generation comes in. If we can develop a truly great procedural generation system, one that lets us create entire planets for you to populate then we can expand the game to add these features and more and the future. Now he did go on to say that the 40 million goal would also allow Cloud Imperium to allocate funding to develop procedural generation technology for future iterations of Star Citizen and in order to do this the studio will need quote a special strike team of procedural generation oriented developers to make this tech a reality. So essentially not only would it bring it to this Star Citizen release but any future Star Citizen iterations would also have this um, procedural generation technology. So there you have it, the latest update from Star Citizen, and this is a game that I'm definitely keeping my eyes peeled for all the information on, as it just really looks incredible, and I just had a little bit of a peek at a 4K gameplay graphics uh, trailer, and it looks very, very impressive indeed, and it seems like they're definitely going to deliver on their promises to make a proper PC title. So I'm definitely very much looking forward to this game. I just hope they actually finish the game eventually and actually set a release date. As every time I seem to read about it, they're adding more and more stuff. But I suppose when it does come out, it will be pretty much as the developers envisioned and a huge game that will give you hours and hours of entertainment, which is exactly, I think, what some people, uh, given the amount of funding they've received, a lot of people are actually looking for. So, how many of you are going to be giving Star Citizen a try, or how many of you are interested in giving it a try? Of course, at the moment, we don't know how demanding this game is going to be, but I would imagine very. So do let me know if you're interested or planning on getting the game. That is me done for this video, though. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.